This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, June the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. In case you missed it, last Thursday they issued the latest drought monitor. And the good news for Alabama is that just slightly more than 88% of the state is currently under no drought conditions whatsoever. Yay! Finally getting out from under that drought. Still got a couple of pockets of... Uh, uh, the lowest uh, sort of abnormally dry with uh, a little section there that includes uh, parts of eastern Fayette County that are in the uh, moderate drought category. But uh, that is nice and the rain for the next few days will help us out. There's a look at the satellite image and we do have clouds streaming across the sky, but we also will see some sunshine today. The uh, current surface map is kind of uh, complex with a number of different fronts. Uh, I, we have a bit of a what I would call more of a stationary front lying across the southeastern U.S. And unfortunately, we're in a soupy air mass in the upper atmosphere. We have uh, weak troughing over New England, and we have weak ridging over the lower Mississippi River Valley. And then we also have a little trough that's right next to that over uh, Texas uh, and parts of Oklahoma and Kansas. So uh, kind of a complex weather pattern here, and it's going to be slow to move. So we're going to stay in the soup for the next several days. Temperatures this morning, uh, very uh, mild with uh, morning lows across all of north and central Alabama, generally in the 60s, uh, lower 70s uh, across the southern part of the state. Radar is relatively clear this morning, but we do see some showers uh, over southeastern Mississippi. Those are moving generally to the north-northeast, and a possibility they may hold together, but we do expect additional showers and thunderstorms with the heat of the afternoon. Watch warning map is fairly clear. We do have... Uh, some gray areas there in uh, parts of uh, Indiana that are dense fog advisories. Over parts of north central Texas, we see green, which indicates flash flood watches. And there's also some green up there in the northern part of the uh, Rockies that also indicates flash flood conditions. Quantitative precipitation forecast, or QPF, is uh, pretty wet over the southeastern U.S., most of that coming through uh, about Wednesday or so. Uh, so that'll be uh, good as we dry out. Uh, at the middle of the week and have some dry weather for the end of the week. Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk over parts of the western Great Lakes area, surrounded by a marginal risk that comes down all the way to about Chicago. For day two, that uh, slight risk moves over into the eastern Great Lakes, uh, affecting parts of Ohio, Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania, and New York. And then for day three, there is only a couple of marginal risk areas over uh, parts of New York, Pennsylvania, uh, West Virginia and Southern Ohio, as well as over parts of uh, Montana. And we have entered tropical season, so uh, there's a look at the Atlantic tropical situation. There's no tropical uh, cyclone activity expected for the next 48 hours. And for the Eastern Pacific, uh, things are quiet as well. All right, the 06C GFS model run. And uh, there's our soupy air mass in place over this area. A precipitable water value is running very high. By tomorrow, Sunday, we see that little uh, trough over north-central Texas and Oklahoma uh, edging ever so much closer, but it keeps us still in the soupy air mass, and it also keeps us with showers and thunderstorms. We may see some um, isolated thunderstorms with this. I don't think anything severe as SPC has outlooked. By uh, Monday, uh, once again, that trough edging uh, ever so closely, now over southeast Texas primarily and southwestern Louisiana. But again, we're just in that soupy air mass as the bigger trough to the uh, north has moved a surface low over to Pennsylvania. And you can see a front trailing down across the Ohio River Valley. But still, we're in the, uh, in the uh, moist air mass. That uh, bigger system off to our uh, northeast over New York and Pennsylvania uh, continues to move uh, slowly into New England. And as it does, uh, that frontal system will move through the area on Tuesday. So it looks like really uh, by Tuesday we should see things drying out considerably. But um, keeping in small chances on Wednesday because the trough is still coming by us. So you can see that elongated trough extending across the mid-Atlantic states over into uh, uh, eastern, pardon me, western Kentucky. Uh, and so the front should be uh, moved by, so we uh, definitely are drying out. And let's take a look at precipital water values. You can see, wow, they are really down uh, where we were in the 90th percentile and above. Now the, the values are down 
uh, below one inch generally for the southeastern U.S., and that will certainly feel nice. The upper atmosphere, uh, that trough does come by Thursday, and we see troughing on, uh, along the east coast of the United States by uh, Friday. Uh, that troughiness is moving on out, but we do maintain a bit of a uh, a weak troughiness over the eastern part of the country. And with that, with a ridge along the eastern slopes of the Rockies, uh, we stay in northwesterly flow. So temperatures are not going to soar anytime quickly. And we stay under that northwesterly flow uh, for a week from today as the ridge will inch a little bit closer. Uh, but that keeps us under high pressure at the surface. So we stay dry. So we should have a nice weekend next weekend. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, we see the ridge comes over us by Monday, the 12th of June. The ridge stays in place through the 14th of June. And then by the uh, 17th of June, we're getting into uh, still a little bit of a ridge pattern, but we do have a little bit of a disturbance coming through that flow. Ah, this is voodoo country. Will that be there? It's a small feature, probably not, but we'll see. Uh, that certainly spells warm weather, though, for us. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Expect to have the next one posted first thing on uh, Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.